Now let's look at calculation of equilibrium constants at temperatures that aren't standard conditions or are not 25 degrees. Remember we said that if we have non-standard temperatures, we can use enthalpy delta H and entropy because those are pretty much independent of temperature. So delta G at some temperature T is about equal to delta H0 minus T delta S0. So we can use this to calculate our thermodynamic equilibrium constant at temperatures other than 298 Kelvin. What's the approximate value of K sub P at 40 degrees Celsius for this reaction? We know K sub P at 25 degrees C. We know delta H0 and we know delta S0. So we start to think about what do we know? And we always know we need to work in Kelvin, so I'm going to change my 40 degrees Celsius to Kelvin, so that's 310 Kelvin. It's always a good place to start. It's a safe bet and that'll earn you half a point on the test. Now we look at this and we say, well, we want K sub P. What has this got to do with it? Well, this is extra information just thrown in there in the homework problem kind of as a red herring. So we're not interested in that at all right now. We're interested in enthalpy and entropy. So we know that delta G is equal to minus RT ln of K sub P and we know that delta G is equal to delta H0 minus T delta S0. So we can start off by finding delta G. So I'm just going to work with this part for starters to find delta G. So delta G is equal to delta H0 minus T delta S0. Well, I've given the standard enthalpy change negative 163 kilojoules minus my temperature 310 Kelvin times my standard entropy change. Now notice that this has units of joules and this one was in kilojoules. So I'm going to change this to kilojoules. 0.148 kilojoules per Kelvin. Now my Kelvin units cancel and I now have Delta G is equal to minus 163 kilojoules minus 46.3 kilojoules. Because I'm subtracting, I stop in the ones place. So my delta G is equal to negative 209 kilojoules. Now I know delta G. I can use my delta G to find my K sub P at some other temperature. Now I use the other equation. Delta G is minus RT ln of K sub P. So delta G divided by negative RT is equal to the natural log of K sub P and I can solve for K sub P. So negative 209 kilojoules divided by a negative R, 8.314, I'm running out of ink in my pen. I'm going to have to pause this video and go find another pen. <laughs> 